play at Durham for the third day running as Elgar gets a streaky outside edge, the ball runs down to third man and that will be a, a boundary, a, a fortunate boundary but just says four in them. Patterson have got five wickets in the first innings. Bowls down the leg side, a loosener from Patterson and Elgar is too good a player Lucy to miss out on that, just tickles it away fine for four. As here James is in and bowls! Dean Elgar, that's a very good breakthrough indeed. And that one, if anything, kept a little bit low. And it, so once it bounced, it went very quickly. We'll play there on day three so far as a wristy shot from Wesley on the leg side. Will find the fence, just works it into that little gap over there on the offside between the Fox Road stand and the Larwood and Vos stand. The ball clatters into a railing. There's a short ball. And it's been pulled for six over square leg. Lovely pick up that from Sam Cook. He looks very comfortable. And from the Radcliffe Road end, and that one is edged and taken, and that is the end of Sam Cook's excellent effort as night watchman, as Clark takes a low catch just going down to his right. As Hutton comes in, bowls, and has he got two in two? He has. That is the immediate end to Jordan Cox who got a ball that was going down leg side, he just flicked at it, very well taken by Joe Clark again. As Pennington is in and bowls, and well, you can put your feet back on the ground, because Tom Wesley has worked this into the gap on the leg side. Totten, passed on by Longley, bowls again, this one's uh, run away behind square, and that'll go for four, nicely done by Matt Critchley, just opened the face, guided it away, all the way along the ground, but pocket as he released the ball. Pennington in again, oh! Has he got him? Slight feather, Wesley push forward. Same channel, is bowled delightfully well in this spell, Dylan Pennington, and he definitely deserves that wicket. Lyndon James in. Oh, it's a lovely drive. Lovely from Paul Walter, gets him off the pair. Desperate dive there from Brett Hutton at mid-off, but that was outside there. James, Critchley. Critchley's rather turned round by this, but he's got it away past the bowler and down to the boundary for four. He was driving, as he, he's a very fine driver, but on this particular occasion, it came off something of a thick outside edge. Hutton in, round the wicket to the left-hander. And he's slashed that away, slightly short and wide, through a vacant, vacant gully region for four runs. We see... Dane Patterson into the attack for the first time from the specifically from the uh, Radcliffe Road end today and there's pleasant uh, drive there but that's gone through for the third boundary in the last three overs. Yeah an exciting player to watch for sure. Oh not far away from a sprawling Ben Duckett there as Walter flicks that through the leg side but times it nicely and it beats Lyndon James I think it is at the mid wicket boundary for four runs. Patterson in once more. Walter, oh, it's a lovely shot. Walter steps down the wicket to meet Dane Patterson, makes it into a straightish half volley, and he just work. Paul Walter. Ooh, and uh, Walter has got this ball away down the ground and uh, going through to the boundary. Get the chance of a second new ball. That's a very expansive shot there from Walter as he just walks down the wicket and flicks Lyndon James quite dismissively, to be honest. Harrison in again and bowls, and Walter goes. Once again, big on the leg side and gets a boundary. No chance for Montgomery. He's been eyeing that up, Lucy, as you said. If he's trying to be a bit more expansive before that new ball. And goes after that one. has got hold of it. It's in the air, but neither Slater nor Montgomery are going to get anywhere near it. It lands just shy of the ropes. As Matthew Montgomery in again, bowls and Paul Walter goes big on the leg side and everybody's looking towards the stand and it's gone for four. It clatters one bounce into the wall there if you don't get yourself out montgomery bowls and walter does go big and this time he's underneath it so that will be deposited into the seat it is up go the arms of umpire longley harrison in again edge caught well 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 duck it with a good catch diving down to his left and crikey is it going to be a repeat of days one and two where nothing happened in the afternoon you start after tea on the edge. Harrison in again, he's bowled beautifully. This is chopped on, in fact it's chopped through to uh, wicketkeeper Joe Clark and Harmer in and out quickly. So we will find out now, presumably. Here's Hutton, comes in and bowls and this is uh, going to go to the fence for Shane Snater. This one was... Pennington in. Oh, that's <laughs> agricultural. <laughs> Slightly back of a length of Dylan Pennington. Shane Snater has gone... Oh, that's oh, a lovely what a shot. shot. Pitched up and just driven, drilled straight back down the ground. 
Pennington runs back in. Interesting to see his response here. Slightly back of a length, and it's been. Oh yeah, I'll give him the better of the doubt. He opened the face of the bat there and ran it past the third slip ish. Rossington. It's a short ball, and it's pulled around the corner. Mm. Very dismissively. Swivel pull. Never left the ground. Four runs. And he's waiting. Oh, and he's beaten on the inside edge. It's four runs. Has he hit it? Oh, he has inside edge. Beat Joe Clark, diving away to his left. It would have been an absolute scream of that if he'd have caught it, to be fair. Rossington, the right-hander on strike. And a bottom hand shovels it. Miss field from... Who is that? Brett Hutton. Thank you. Here is James in bowls, and there'll be no run here as Rossington can't time the ball, and it just goes a few yards out into 